Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Komen and welcome back to another redstone video. In this video we are going to be creating a vending machine. It's a fairly simple concept. If you put a diamond or some other valuable piece of, or, or item into this dropper and then click this button to dispense it off into the system, then you can click any of these buttons and you will get one piece of food out, although I might have to change up where the food comes from because, yeah, you might accidentally, like, get multiple foods at once. So if I want just one of these foods and I click this... Oh, never mind, I don't have to change anything. First, we will need to detect if any of the buttons are being pressed. This next part of the circuit, uh, when I click this button, when there's a diamond in here, then, uh... Oh, so, okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna click the button to decide which item I want and then we're going to put a diamond in here click this button and then click the same button again because this is going to be the only one that has food in it and then that food will be dispensed into uh, our inventory and then we'll have the food again and that's how the vending machine will work and so I've decided that once the once we put the diamond through then we'll momentarily unlock these hoppers allowing whichever food item we decided to go through into the dispensers allowing for us to um, uh, get the food once we click the button the second time. So hopefully what this system here should do is if we Get a lamp for example and just slap this on here If we click the corresponding button Okay, you can see that contemporarily just like turned on and off Which is what I was looking for because that means that we can attach that to a hopper and allow one item to pass through the hopper into the next part of the system which we can then use to hopefully get the items into their corresponding boxes. And hopefully those torches don't actually mess with any of these hoppers, because if they do, that would be a big problem. And of course, like any vending machine, this vending machine will have to eventually be restocked if I use it often enough, because I don't know if you notice, but I'm kind of the only person in this world, so I'm the only one going to be using this vending machine, which is kind of stupid if you think about it, because I'm just making myself pay to eat. But I'm basically just paying myself to eat which doesn't really make a lot of sense but whatever okay here's the first test so if we get a whole stack of steak in here and we go ahead and push this button here one steak made it through and it should have gone all the way to this hopper here which it has nice and then if we put a diamond in here like so click that should be in here which it is awesome Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is have these two hopper or two droppers power, which actually I think we can use this pulse right here to do that. Or not this pulse, this um this line of redstone here. If we do this and then I had it travel underneath just like this, then it will unpower to allow the item to go through the hoppers into the droppers and then turn on again, which will hopefully activate the droppers. So if we did that... Oh wait, dang it, oh, I'm so dumb. They can't go through the droppers, gosh dang it. But that actually works out fine, because all we need to do then is just extend this line of redstone back and put in some repeaters. Or if we want the best possible speed, we could just put in some target blocks. Oh wait, no, because we can't do that, because then it won't power the top dropper, never mind. So, assuming I did that correctly, there is a stake in here. And actually, I think we're gonna turn these into chests because if we click that button again, we'll just be letting through another stake, which we don't want to do. So I think we can just go ahead and turn these into chests and then, ah, but then we have the problem of these things not firing. They're not, because we can't open the chest now. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Okay, that needed some fixing because it was a self-powering system which it is no longer so if we click this button for steak once more that should let a steak through and it will take some time so i think we should have like a light or something to signify when the steak is actually in place and then if we click this button oh wait a second Hold on. we gotta put a diamond in there because that did nothing yeah so we put a diamond in here and click the button to send it off the diamond and you hear that sound then we have the steak okay the whole thing works just like that and I'm assuming if we try to send through multiple stakes, so if we do this and, you know, just press it a couple more times just to get a few extra stakes in there because I want some more steak, then how many stakes we got? Four stakes, okay. And then if we put in a diamond and click the button, we still only get one stake. Okay, 
So it doesn't matter how many times we click it, as long as we only or we only will get one stake, and then there's three stakes in here. Okay, this is a great system. I'm actually surprised at how com how compact this turned out, but we're not done yet. We still have to have um, the gosh. We still have to add the light signifying when the item has gone through. Actually, it would work just as well if we just got a little piece, if we just got some wool here, obviously, and then if we could just have a little bit of a sound instead of a light turning on, and then when the sound turns on, then we know it's ready to, ready. then we can put our diamond in and actually get the food out. Okay, so I put in a little system here so that when the item or the food item goes through these line of hoppers here, these will detect it, send a pulse through the ears, through these repeaters into this, which will uh, s uh, make a noise when, uh, when the redstone reaches it. But I also don't know if that noise will be soon enough. So let's test something. If we put a diamond in here, click this button for a stake, and then click the diamond, or click the button for the diamond to go through. If we, okay, so if we click this and then click this button, as soon as we hear the noise, we can see how accurate it is. I don't think that was very accurate. Oh! Hey, it worked! Okay, so as soon as you hear the noise, you can actually click the, or click the, or insert your money and get the thing out. Although, I wonder. So we actually have a couple extra stakes from when I spam pressed the buttons earlier. So if we click this again, I'm an idiot. There's no diamond in here. If we click this again, yeah, there was some extra stake in the system. Okay, that's fine. So it's not broken. There's just there's just a couple extra stake in here, which is fine. That was that was just me messing around. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that was just me messing around. There's nothing wrong with the system. And actually, I think we should go ahead and get some signs in place, and then test the whole thing. I guess. Allow me to introduce to y'all. The vending machine. So if I click this button here for a potato, and then when I hear that noise, I can put my diamond in, and there's my potato. And I can do that with any of these. You can see I, I wanted this. We put the diamond in, and we get our apple. But that is all I have for you today. So if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, then consider subscribing, because that'll help out a lot. But yeah, I'll see you next time.